just you don't know. See, it's your listen. If we are, we are in a relationship, it's just relationship. Right? Really? We are we are getting to know each other. But you go, who cry? Eh, you let me tell you, who are you? Because I'm the best friend one night. Now what you choose? What's the soft for say? And now sorry, we in the way. Now they intimidate me about some. Am I? A, I am a Satan. Am I? Am I witch? So what do I show? Why now? What do I show? What is? What I mean by that is, you know, when we have a gig, we have an event, and we have to go and meet the rest of the bandmates and then go through. But just like Brakwami said, practice is what you do, you know, in trying to improve upon your personal skill, you understand? And back then, I used to rehearse for long hours. Because that was what I was doing all, the time, all through the day. So what I actually do is I wake up early in the morning after I'd held my mom with a house, a few house chores and all that. Mm. I go please, to, please repeat that again. After you uh, was... After I held mommy with a few. Because I'm, I'm the youngest amongst the guys. Wow. Um, so every errand... Let me add up. Is, yeah. If you don't do that, you want to play like him. <laughs> Piquet, hear ye the word of the Lord. <laughs> please, sorry. That's fine. And then, and so when I'm done with the house chores, I'll go to my office. What I, where, where I call my office is actually where I have my setup. Mm. And then I will start rehearsing. But I have a, um, I'll start practicing. I have a practicing routine. Um, sometimes I just work on fingering exercises. Um, I work on dexterity, um, trying to understand what to play over whichever chords. Um, I get a bit into other genres, trying to, because you know we live in Africa. You can't just say you 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 are a jazz player or you are just a high life player. It, it's okay. I mean, in other parts of the world, you can just play funk and then you you will be fine. <laughs> but in this part of our world, um, you need to, you know, understand a bit of. I mean, the very genres that are very common to us, you understand. And so I have a timetable. Let's say on Monday. If I have to, I wake up and I'm done with whatever it is I'm doing. I go to my office, my setup, and then I check on my timetable. If it's composition, I will start composing. You know, with composition, sometimes it comes, you know, you don't have to think about it. And then, I'm about four hours into it. I'll have a lunch break. And then after the lunch break, I'll go back to office. So the office is not necessarily... I mean, sitting in an Uber or sitting in a car to, let's say, Kwashima or, you know, Ibuakwa. My, my, where I have my setup is my office. So then after lunch break, just to refresh myself a little bit, I go back to the office to start continuing with whatever it is I was doing until, let's say, around 4 p.m. And then I'm done. Because that, that, that's what I do. You understand? And so 4 p.m., 5 p.m., they're about as, as though uh, it, it's, like, it's like I'm a banker. And then I, I went to work, and then I'm done. So by 5, I should be done. And then I have to come back to the house. You understand? So then I have it at the back of my, my mind. By 5 p.m., sometimes it exceeds. <laughs> Maybe if I have to stop and go and we live in Africa, go and palm for food or whatever it is. You understand? Wow. So that is how my practicing routine has been. I mean, that was, I mean, when I was a bit young. But then, um, recently, I, I do a lot of work in the nights, during the nights, because it's very calm, um, serene atmosphere and all that. Now, I don't do all of those things that I used to do. I mean, the house chores and all that. And so, in the night, let's say, because if you ask all of these guys, they will tell you, if you want to get a friend, it's maybe after 12 a.m., um, you're likely to chance on me online between the hours of 12 a.m. and let's say 4 a.m. Then maybe I'll go and sleep. So that's how my practicing routine has been like, yeah. So it differs sometimes, four, five, six, seven hours. And yeah. Wow. B before the next question, um, it's, it's a good news also from Virtual Sound. Um, they have this new bundle. He was talking about the office. Um, have, that's where you have your gears and all. So those of you that you want to enter into music production, you want to have a small studio at home, now, Maki has 
uh, a bundle now. They have the Mac Creator bundle that comes with a studio monitor and a um, studio microphone and a headphone. And they have the Mac Producer bundle that comes with the headphone. Um, um, the Honest Producer too. Wow, Honest. I, I love Honest so much. That has a Perkins preamp. And it comes, it comes with a headphone. It comes with um, um, jacks. And it comes with microphones also. And they have also the Mac Studio bundle. That comes with the studio monitors, the microphones, the big knob uh, 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 device. And walk into any of the branch of virtual sound. If you want to start very small, and I will encourage you to get these gears because it's, it's good to start very well. It's good to start very well. So getting this bundle, you know that when it comes to recording, if even you are doing video production, editing, and all those stuff, or you want to have a small studio in your bedroom or what, this is what I recommend for you. So please walk into any of the virtual sound branches. And there's a good news also if you're an instrumentalist, and you want to buy your own instrument, just walk into virtual sound. They have a special discount for you, just for you. Don't go and take it and go and sell it to the church. It's just for you. So we'll be monitoring you. So, so it's a good news for all musicians. If you want to get your own equipment, it's very easy. Just walk into virtual sound, open an account, and you're going to also have that. So let's, let's have the next question. Your name? Okay, thank you. My name is Isaac, and I have three questions for us. Hey, three. Wow. Very vital ones. Okay, so the first one is, um, what's your attitude towards money? Because there's this notion about instrumentalism, and then we misusing money and all that. So I just want to know his attitude towards money. And then the next question is that, um, how do you deal with um, criticisms, like when you go on a secular show and then come back to church, that kind of thing? How do you, how do you deal with that? And the last one is, what do you do when you get to stage and then you find out that you don't have the likes of um, George and then Archie and then Ejaya? What kind of attitude do you put up? Thank you. <laughs> the first question again is um, money. Yes, um, with all of these things, um, we all were here when Corona hit us like. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody expected it, you understand? And so for me, um, that should be a very good lesson for each and every one of us. Um, save, learn how to invest. The little you get, you understand? Um, for me, when I do gigs, the very little that I get, that I, I get in getting gigs, I reinvest it into what I do. You understand? Aside saving and then investing, because it is this same gadgets and whatever it is we're able to use it to do. That is what brings us, you understand, the money. And so, I have a way of dividing the little that comes to me. I know I have to save so, so and so percent. I have to put this into whichever, you understand, aspect of my life and all that. And then what I do is reinvesting into the very equipment that I use. You understand? What was, your, what was the second question? Um, criticism. Your uh, criticisms are good, trust me. Man, you need them. I mean, constructive criticism will, will help you. And so if you are around an environment where people get to criticize you, you know the interesting thing? Some way, somehow, they are actually bringing your attention to something you may be doing wrong. You understand? So let's say I'm around Pastor Kakraba, and then he makes mention of something that he's not too comfortable about. Some way, somehow, God through Pastor Kakraba has made me know that I have to be careful. I have to, you know, do things the right way. As far as certain aspects of my life is concerned and all that. And so, um, it also has to do with my kind of mindset. If you happen to see me anywhere aside church playing, um, I'm only there because of work. You understand? Um, whatever it is, the people out there that a lot of Christians, I mean, think they are, I mean, so to say, carnal people, carnal minded and all that. Whatever it is, some of these people are doing, it will interest you to know that we have church folks who are doing even <laughs> worse. 
you understand. And so, you happen to see me on certain other stages. I'm only there to work. Um, whatever it is that we have it at the back of our mind that, let's say, these are secular guys, they do this. You never get to see me doing any of those things. You understand? Yes. And so, but if it has to do with just criticism, if they are constructive, then I think it's good. You understand? What was the last question? Um, of course. I mean, for anybody that's been following me, you get to see me play with other musicians. You understand? For me, it has to do with when I get on stage, um, of course, we are different people. And then um, when we are on stage playing as a team, it's not just about me. It's about all of us. So let's say um, Emmanuel Sergio is an amateur player. Like I didn't know him. And then I chance on him. I happen to, you know, meet him on stage. We jam together. With my level of musicianship, what I have to do is to go down to his level of understanding. And then gradually, you understand. Because if I try to impose whatever it is, the ideas, stuff that I've been learning on him, it will be difficult for him to understand all of these things. But I have to go down to his level. And then gradually, we pick it up. By the time you realize we are making music, you understand? So for me, anybody that I chance on, anybody that I meet, I am super good. That doesn't mean that um, if it has to do with a paid gig, you know, I can just play with. Of course, we have to rehearse and all that. And so I think I've answered, I've answered your question, right? All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>